Welcome to the playoffs here in the Denver Bears franchise. We are in season number six and this Bears organization has came a long way from the inception of this series. And here we are facing who else but the Los Angeles Dodgers here in the NLDS. A team that's won three of five championships in this series. They are incredible. They're right back here in this playoffs. Now we have some leaders this year with this 96 win Bears team. J Jesse Winker is the OPS leader. Luis Severino is the pitching war leader. And for the first time in this series, we have an offensive award winner and it is Jesse Winker. Hit 318, he wins the Hank Aaron Award. Congratulations to him. Going into this contract year, he couldn't have had a better year. Career high in home runs of 32, career high in RBIs with 91. Incredible year for the Bears. Let's see if we can, can sustain that here in the playoffs. And here is our uh, opening playoff lineup as we go with Kale Helfrich at leadoff in right field, the rookie who we moved up. And then another note is that Chris Stewart hitting in that seven spot at catcher. He gets to start over Raphael Marchand. And then Ryan McMahon gets to start at second base. He gets in the five hole over Luis Arias. He only hit 239 in the regular season. Ryan McMahon comes over via trade at the trade deadline so hopefully he will add that playoff boost tyler glass now gets the start for the dodgers as he faces mike soroka for denver as we start out this game with a gavin lux tapper in front of the plate and he will beat this one out to first base it seems like the cpu always gets those hits but we never get those Ground ball, next batter comes up. It's going to be to CJ. Back over to Ryan McMahon, and it will be a double play for Winker at first base. And that brings up Mookie Betts, who led the MLB in average this year, hitting 327. He gets an inside pitch and somehow gets enough bat on that one to hit it to right field. That will be the second hit of the game for the Dodgers. Cody Bellinger to the plate. Went two for four in that first matchup versus the Padres already in that wild card game, and he does ground out, hit and run. That put our shortstop C.J. Abrams right into position. Kale Helfrick comes to the plate now, leadoff. He hits one deep to center field. This one looks like it just lost legs. That was actually like perfect contact. We hit it right in the middle there. I'm surprised that wasn't a home run. Benito Ozuna, who has been with us the last three seasons, he gets the start today in left field as he hits this one to center field. Though Cody Bellinger bringing up two outs, and here comes the Hank Aaron Award winner, Jesse Winker, to the plate now for his first at bat. One, two count. He goes to opposite field. This one is gone. Jesse Winker, 482 feet. How about Winker? He wants that big time contract and I'm probably gonna give it to him after this year. How about the start to the playoffs here for Winker coming off of an excellent season, 106 exit velocity. It was absolutely crushed. One nothing game as that brings up Eugenio and he hits one hard to the left side and that one will be the last out of the inning but a one run lead. Good start here for the Bears as that brings up Cody Hosey who watches one on the inside half. That one's going to be a backwards K as that brings up Ruiz to the plate. He hits one deep to right field. This one keeps carrying and keeps going over the wall. We are playing at Coors Field because that's where we play in the playoffs because they do get night games. For the NLDS, I don't think there is any night games actually, so we might actually switch back to the dish here for this series. So now here that brings up the next batter who gets another hit, bringing up Donovan Casey to the plate in the eighth hole. He hits one hard up the box, and that one gets through. One out here for the Dodgers as they continue to hit the ball well. That is already their fourth hit of the game. Tyler Glass now to the plate now. He's just going to lay one down this time. It's a hard bunt past the pitcher, but Eugenio goes to second. I feel like a lot of the times the CPU just sabotages us. I don't know why he went to second on that throw. Gavin Lux to the plate now. Base is loaded. One out. Ground ball to the right side. And it will just be a double play. They only get one run out of that. The Kiebert who Ruiz does tie this ball game up. That brings up Ryan Reynolds, who we signed in the offseason. He is one of the highest paid position players on our team right now. He hits one to right center. That one's caught on the track by Cody Bellinger. 
No runs doing there in the top of the third as that brings up at the top of the bottom of the second. That brings up Mookie Betts, who absolutely hits one right down the left field line. 376. It's gone. A two to one lead here for the Dodgers. 102 exit velo as now they take the two to one lead. That brings up Cody Bellinger to the plate. He goes to left center, and that one will get to the wall. But look at Bellinger. He's got speed, and he will make it all the way to third. Left center, Gapper, and he gets to third base. That's incredible. Kiebert Ruiz comes back to the plate. He hit a homer earlier. He hits one to right field. This one should be caught by Kale Helfrich, but he does misplay it. He lollygags and jogs to the ball and then dives backwards for it and misses it. That's a reason why I say when I need to have Will Benson in there in right field, that's what I'm talking about. He doesn't let that happen, but the rookie makes a huge mistake. I don't know how that even happened. Max Muncy to the plate now, three to one game. He goes to opposite field as well. This one gets to the wall. Ozuna fields it off the wall. Four to one here for the Dodgers. They have brought their bats today and Muncy gives them the four to one lead. And now we're still not done. Donovan Casey to the play. He hits one to the right side. And that is going to be dropped right in front of Kale Helfrick. His second misplayed ball of this inning. And, man, you got to be thinking that we got to go to the bullpen and pull Mike Soroka. Even though I don't think all these runs are his fault, he's been getting hit hard pretty well. So we have to go to Zach Little, who only pitched 17 innings in the regular season. But he pitched pretty well. But the hitting does not stop. This is going to be a hit to the left side, and that one will get over the glove of A. Eugenio. Still two outs. Gavin Lux to the plate now. One for two. And Little lives one right over the plate, and it's going to be hit off of the top of the wall. That was a missile, and it almost was a three-run home run. Six to one game. The Dodgers are just hitting the ball excellently. Jacob Amaya to the plate. He hits one deep. This one's got carry. Will Reynolds get to it? And he won't. It's off of the wall. A bases clearing double. Eight to one. The Dodgers have showed up early and often here. We go to the bullpen for the third, the second time in three innings. Atlas Luntich comes out of the pen. So that brings up Mookie Betts, and we just do not want to see any parts of him. He's two for two so far. But that brings up even a better hitter, Cody Bellinger, who goes to left field. That one is gone. 11 to 1. Every single season in the NLDS, this has happened. We face a team that is amazing offensively, and they just absolutely put it on us. Last year, it was the Phillies. This year, it's the Dodgers in game one. Incredible. 11 to 1 game. That brings up the next batter, and it just does not stop. Even a little blooper like that, I have no idea why Ryan McMahon didn't go after that one. It drops perfectly. Even on a missed time swing and everything, inside, out of the zone, it's still a hit. Ruiz comes up to the plate, and we finally get out of this third inning. Oh, my goodness, 11-1. to one. Believe it or not, the Dodgers go on to score seven more runs, bringing it to 18-3. to three. Winker comes to the plate now in the bottom of the ninth inning. We are getting absolutely destroyed in this one. Two outs, Ryan McMahon, last batter of the game. He will pop out to short center field. It's going to do it here in game number one. We want to just forget this game. This was probably the worst game I've ever seen, the worst inning I've ever seen in the playoffs here in this third inning. We were down by 11 runs, 10 runs, and we lost that one 18 to three. Now last year we were down nine runs versus the Phillies and we came back and won. That definitely did not happen today. So game number two, as Luis Severino does step on to the mound, we will quick manage every other game here. That's how I usually do it. And you can see right away, no runs to the first three innings. So I guess that is a good sign because the Dodgers have lit us up there in that third inning. So through five innings now, it looks like Jacob Junis is on, to, on the mound. And that is going to be a nice little inning from the Bears. It looks like the middle of our lineup, including uh, Will Benson, who got the start in right field. Brian Reynolds and Chris Stewart came through with RBI singles. 
So now we move on to the seventh inning. It looks like we are still in this lead. Severino is still on the mound, has not given up a run so far. Ten strikeouts, and he gets through that eighth inning. Now on to the bottom of the eighth. We add some insurance. One more run as we move on to the ninth inning. Now with men on first and second, we decide to go to the bullpen. With two outs in this game, we want to go to our closer, Jordan Hicks, and he does get us out there with a strikeout. It's going to be a 4-0 lead or a 4-0 win here for the Denver Bears here in game number two. And now we move on to LA for game number three. But a good start there, giving us some momentum going on the road now. So Will Benson is going to get the start in right field today. And I just cannot stand how our defense plays in the playoffs. I don't know what it is, but no matter what we do, we always play poorly. And we're not gonna put a bad defensive team out there today we're gonna put Muhammad Willingham in left field I want to get him some burn at uh, at the plate because he does do tremendous in the playoffs so I don't want to waste that bat on the bench so he will start in left field which is his his secondary position and then at first base we will have Winker and in right field we will have Will Benson C.J. Abrams hits in the leadoff spot today he is hitting 286 in the playoffs he hits just a chopper to second base that one will be just a ground out. Winker started out game number one with the home run in his first at bat. Let's see if he can replicate that 3-1 pitch outside, and he will draw the walk. Eugenio up to the plate. He has not gotten a hit so far in the playoffs. This one's low. Chop it a third. It will just be a ground out. Hopefully he breaks this slump soon because last playoffs, he was our best player. Ramel Koffer comes to the plate or comes to the mound today. He was injured for two months during the season, and it kind of, you know, you saw the rust. He was 8-9 this year. He definitely wasn't the same pitcher he was a year ago. Let's see what he does here in the playoffs, though. Cody Bellinger to the plate, ground ball to second, and we do get out of this first inning. No damage done. Ryan Reynolds up in the top of the second inning. He's hitting 333 so far, has started every game, and he does walk. He said, brings up Chris Stewart, who has started at catcher. He goes to right field, and that one will get through the infield. And now we got men on first and second here. One out in this inning here in the top of the second. That brings up Will Benson, who the reason why we have not started him is because his bat has just not came around. Let's see if he can come around now. He gets one low. It hits it hard to the right side. That one gets through the infield, gets all the way to the wall. That shows the power of Will Benson. It scores one. It scores two. And Will Benson has himself a two RBI triple. Two nothing lead here for the Denver Bears early on in this game. And it feels good because it comes off of the bat of Will Benson, who we traded in season number one for Trevor Story. He finally pays dividends. Ramel Koffer comes to the plate trying to help himself out now. He just needs a ground ball and he swings that one high. Definitely a bad decision on that swing. Two outs as that brings up C.J. Abrams now. 3-1 pitch, low, and he hits it well, but right to the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. At least we have the lead now going into the bottom of the second inning as that brings up Jacob Amaya to the plate, and he hits one to right center. The bats of the Dodgers have been well alive in this series. To center field, it will be a double. As now they have Cody Hosey at the plate here, no outs. A tapper down the left third baseline and it looks like it's going to be a single why does this happen to us all of these singles that seem to be so lucky and it's funny because I look at the the reticle and everything after the fact and it looks like they're not even making solid contact on these pitches Max Muncy at the plate with bases loaded now after a walk that one will be a strike three because that brings up the pitcher Walker Bueller he's already one for one in the playoffs make it two for two he goes to left field and what do you know it? Even the pitchers are hitting the ball well off of us. It's a two to one game. Now for those saying that I'm terrible at pitching, I'm literally using classic pitching and catcher suggestions. So this is all the CPU calling the game. So we walk in a run now. It's two, two. And that brings up Jacob Amaya who hits one to the left field and that one will get through. I'm not even sure if that was Jacob Amaya or not. 3-2 lead here for the Dodgers. Still one out in this second inning. Mookie Betts. He absolutely crushes one. That's a grand slam. 7-2. The Dodgers have just absolutely 
out hit us by a long shot. They have come into this playoffs with a hot bat. Now remember, they were in third place for a lot of the year, and they had to absolutely come back in some type of way. And their bats, the last two months of the season, they hit 400. That is not an exaggeration. They hit 400 the last two months of the season, and it's the reason why they have made the playoffs here this season. So now here we are in the third inning. I mean, just trying to get some runs back. We've come back before from a bigger deficit, but this Dodgers team is just so good. They have good pitching. They have good hitting. Ground water third. They get out of that third inning. Top of the eighth inning. Now it's a two to eight game still. Luis Arias comes to the plate, who did not get to start in game one, gets to start today. He is two for four today with his second hit of the game right there. As that brings up Jesse Winker to the play 0 for two today. With two outs, man on first base. Let's see if he can get a hit off of Caleb Ferguson. Keep this run, this inning going, but it's going to be a strike three. He was too late on the inside fastball. So on to the top of the ninth inning. Roberto Azuna comes in for the save as that does as he does walk uh, the first batter of the ninth. As that brings up Mohamed Willingham, who does come through with a hit to the right side. If anything, I just want to get some momentum going into game number four because this is not pretty. Here comes our big signing of the free agency last year. Brian Reynolds to the plate. He hits one to right field. That one is caught by Mookie. It does move the runner over to third as that brings up Chris Stewart, who hits one to right center. That one will score the run from third base. Hit and run scenario right there. Mohamed Willingham rounds third but does stay put. And now we have runners on the corners here. Will Benson already has a, a two RBIs in this one. He hits one hard to the right side, and it will be another RBI for Benson. Good for him. He has really come around with his bat. I'm excited to see what he does for the rest of these playoffs, and hopefully we get out of this round because it does not look pretty right now. Kale Helfrick comes in to pinch hit for the pitcher, and he just has not been hitting the ball well either. Fly ball to second base. Two outs here in the ninth inning. Bringing up C.J. Abrams could be our last hope. Inside pitch, and it's going to be ball four. So this inning does continue here. Luis Arias to the plate, two for four in this game, 2-2 two, two pitch. He hits one to left center. Will it get down? It looks like it will, but it doesn't at the last second. Caden Rogers runs that one down. Nine to four loss for the Denver Bears. Going into game number four, we are definitely going to have to out-hit the Dodgers. I have no idea who's going to get the start. It could be Mike Salucci. Last time he saved us, he would ha he might have to do it again. And we get the loss. The Dodgers take the 2-1 to one lead. We have one more game in L.A. We're going to have to steal that one before going back to Denver. We'll see. Down 2-1 to one with the Denver Bears comeback versus this high-powered Dodgers offense. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. All that like Kenan. Still got crack, they feeling. Flow still hot like Phoenix. Shine so bright, I'm gleaming. This off top, I'm tweaking. Fresh out the rat like me. And I'm still trying to fight my demons. Cause we all gotta act like Tina. That's why I gotta ride with the Nina. Outside, it's a war going on.